Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are just about ready to head out and look for downed trees in search of springtime walleyes. That's right. This is a technique that's often overlooked in the season and it holds a ton of fish that you need to take advantage of. Right, so obviously in spring the water is warming up, so the fish are coming shallow into that warm water right. and they're looking for a place that has shade and a food source. That's right, and we're not looking for your traditional laying on the bottom old log from 200 years ago. Right, no. We're looking for a tree that's hanging over, suspended in the water, that creates canopy cover that fish can come underneath and utilize for either cover or like Sarah said, or to eat. Right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna scoot along the shoreline looking for these specific trees, which yep. are gonna hold pools of minnows. And we're gonna match the hatch with the soft plastic That's right. so that we can go in and drop it down, act like we're one of those minnows, and hopefully pull some big walleyes That's right, we're gonna, we're gonna try to extract as many as we can, but not every tree holds fish. And this is important to remember. Right. Some of these trees look to be perfect. Like there's gotta be walleyes underneath the tree, and they don't. Right. You come back five hours later, and there's walleyes there. Yeah, they're just roaming around basically exactly. in spring in search of these, yeah. uh, in search of warmer water and specific trees. So just because you're there once and there's no walleyes there doesn't mean they're not gonna yeah, go Yeah, don't back. give up on it, come yeah. back. But, but the trees are kind of replacing weed growth early in the season, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do it, what to look for, and how to catch a lot of walleyes. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Coleman Insect Repellents. Alright Sarah, we are coming into our first tree of the day and looks like a good one. Yeah, it looks like a good one. Lots of lots of canopy overhanging branches. But it's supposed to be beautiful and sunny and that's crucial because that's what those walleyes want. We know that the fish are coming shallow post spawn and we know that they're gonna be using wood. But why are they gonna be utilizing yeah, the trees? The water temp's coming up fast. It's a beautiful day and there is no whole lot of weed growth yet so that's one of the big key things we're, we're thinking about now is they want shallow where's the best cover and downwood often overlooked especially early season mm -hmm. those walleyes utilize it they get tucked right up underneath there it's kind of crazy it's almost like they're crappies or bluegills or something right up in there and you need to have a bait that can get precisely where you want to be quick because there's not a whole lot of area for that fish to hit it we're fishing maybe just a couple feet so that deep V jig head, impulse minnow, is gonna be deadly, I think. What do you think? I hope so. We'll try it out right here. Yeah. That sounds like a giant. Just from the drag alone. Not the best hook set on him. Okay, I'll get the net. I'm, but there's weight there, he's staying down. I'm oh, wrapped wow. up in the net. What we got here? We got a lot of good head shakes. It's a nice walleye. Okay, where are we at? It's a really nice walleye. Come. Bring right in. Ready? He's putting up a battle. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yes. They got him in the bag. Woo! Nice work. All right, guys. Nice take a look. Sarah and I just pulled up on this tree. And it is about as classic as it can get. We're 10 foot of water and that tree's hanging right over five, six. That's what you're looking for. You want that shallower trees earlier in the season. As the season progresses, the fish will find what deeper trees, stuff in right. 15, 12, 15, 18. And transition to some of those exactly, weed vines. Exactly, right. But right now, the weeds are just like we said before, sprouting up. So there's not, the only shoreline cover, shallow cover are the trees. And that one held this fish right away. First cast, pow, let's take a look at them. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that is a nice fish. He's unhooked. He's on a... Oh, is he on my line there? Yeah. Did not see that. Sorry about that, buddy. There you go. A little better. Look at that. Wow. Dandy. Yeah, they don't mess around. 
Staying down too. Yeah, it's an eye. Classic walleye. I feel sign. good. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Get the net here. For oh you. wow. Nice work. Pull them right out from underneath there. Yeah. Were you close to it or were you a little I, bit away from it? I was a little bit away from yeah, it when uh, I started nice my walleye. retrieval. Look at that. Doggone it. <gasps> and there's and we're catching them on artificial. That's super fun in this too. Right. You get to catch multiple fish you don't have to worry about changing all oh my gosh look at how dark that nice. color is wow that is what we're after that what? is a beautiful a fish yes. oh my goodness get that thing up here yeah like the artificials because you don't have to go in the minnow bucket every five minutes right or five minutes five seconds <laughs> depends how good they're biting yeah hold that thing up here what a fish oh my gosh look at the mouth and the, oh my look at the hump on that that thing. is a beautiful that walleye. is a wow. thick healthy walleye that's a wood walleye, huh? Yes, it is. That's nice. so much fun. Just a subtle, kind of a subtle. Yeah, what were you doing on that one? Were you popping it or were you dragging or what? Uh, just like a subtle jig. Not, I wasn't really popping it. Yeah, that's the other thing nice about the impulse. I am not sticking my finger in this guy's mouth. Because you don't have to give a whole lot of rod movement to get these three inch impulse minnows to move much. Nice. That is a dandy walleye. That is a beautiful fish. That's Awesome. Oh my goodness. Nice work. Now that is fun to see. Right off of the old tree. I just had to break myself off because I got snug on a tree. It happens. So I just tied on my jig head. I want to show you a little bit what we're using. This is a 1 8 ounce deep V jig by Northland Fishing Tackle. The deep V jig, just a little bit different jig design. You can still use, you know, the tried and true round, but these ones, um, the way that they're designed, they're cut in so that they fall faster, which helps you get past those branches a little bit faster. And then they have a soft plastic keeper and they're the long shank for soft plastics because we're using soft plastics. We are using the three inch chartreuse shad impulse minnow. And you can see we got some beat up skirts here. Just pull a good one out. See how they're pliable? They have uh, that action that's going to trigger that strike. And then I just thread it on out my hook. And there you go. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That looks like a nice fish, too. That is oh not my goodness. a walleye. Oh my goodness. Yes, oh, it, it is. is. That is a oh huge gosh. walleye, Sarah. Huge, I saw the head on that thing, it was fish. like, not a walleye. That it is, is a, a walleye, oh my gosh, how exciting. How's that drag doing? I think I'm doing okay. Oh my goodness, that's what the one we want, honey. Yes, yes, Came yes. Up and just drilled it on that's, a jig. Yes, that is so awesome. Come here, buddy. They fight so good too early this season. Yes, right here. Yes. That feels good. Nice, buddy. This was just us cruising shorelines looking right. for down timber, and there was one that looked pretty decent, so we stopped and through what your second pitch in there? Yeah. You could take a look here at this spot. You got one laying horizontal kind of parallel with the shoreline, and that's where you got him. Oh man, man that's awesome. That's a big fish, hon. Whoa. Okay. He's a feisty one. Wow. That is a nice walleye. Wow. Yeah, all sorts of stuck in the net here. There we go. Show him off there. Oh, fun. And you know what? Yeah. He was barely hooked. Look at that, just popped right out. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's fun. I'm getting in there. I love it. Wow, that's awesome. Beautiful. We're gonna put this one back. Before we leave this tree, I'm gonna take the aqua view and I'm gonna pull up right next to it and we're gonna drop her down and see what's hanging down there, see what's in down there for bait. See if there's any more walleyes hanging there. Maybe see a bass, muskie, or something like that. But yeah, having the aqua views also taught us a lot about where the fish locate themselves under the tree. You know, do they put themselves when it's super sunny, facing more towards the trunk of the tree for more shade? Do they face out when the wind's hitting it because they're more active? So we've learned a lot by dropping the aqua view down by a lot of these trees to see what those fish are doing, how they react, what's their habits when they're down there. So we're gonna go do that right now. All right, we're right up here by the tree. You can see, I can tell there's tons of minnows here already. So we're gonna drop her down in there and see what we got. I tell you what, having the aqua view is a huge tool. You just learn so much with it. So you always gotta make sure you got one. If you don't have one of these, it's money well spent. You learn and so much. And it's entertainment. And it's entertainment, that's right. Oh yeah, there's a couple of walleyes down there. Look at those things. Yeah, look at that, it's so cool. And look at the right underneath that 
right underneath that big shady spot basically is where they're hiding. That is awesome. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. That is so awesome. Just again, just picking a tree out of the shoreline and trying it. And then these, they sit right on the tip right now. They're, they're active. <clears throat> they're waiting for an impulse minute will go by. Right. You know what I mean? And the heist done. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna get back in there. Yeah, get back in there. That tree right there is where that fish came out of, right at the tip. Sarah's gonna cast back in there and get another one. I just missed one. Look at this thing, wow. They're pretty too, aren't they? Man. Well, yeah, it's a walleye. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. They're, they're really gold in this lake. Pop them off of there. He is a feisty one. Had to put a new skirt on, but that's okay. Let's take a look at this fish. There. Nice. Isn't that thing pretty? Wow. I like it. Awesome. See you later, bud. There you go, Sarah. Fish yeah. on. Oh, yep. We'll that's let awesome. Let yours go, and yep, I'll catch another doubles, one. Right? We'll count that as doubles. <laughs> that's pretty close that to doubles. That was sweet. Ready? They are Whoa. so much fun. Not a good net net approach here. I got them that time. Second time around. going to give hey, us a little cool that's down. That's what I'm talking about. Hot afternoon. Yes. Woo! The water temp is going up. It yep. is hot for us, but these fish are so, I think they, they've been waiting a long time right. for this water temp to go where it needed to be, and, and they are aggressive. There's been a couple of, I've seen a couple mayflies, so that's a big thing, especially in that mucky bottom those trees are hanging over. That's another thing, you know, there's not a lot of walleyes hanging over rocks. They like trees over muck, soft bottom, because there's bugs, it warms up faster, organic bottom, and you got a lot of bait fish that come in there eating the insects. We're having a ball. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Do you like the deep V jig heads? Yeah, this is, they're working out pretty <laughs> they, well. I love them. And they're new, and that's new from north of the, the deep Vs, and they are producing walleyes. Let's talk about the rod real quick that we're using for this. These are seven foot two Kramer Custom Rods. These are his brand new, the X11ZR graphite blanks on these rods. Super duper sensitive but they're extra fast tip, so I get hook set real quick on them so I can get them out of that wood and they got a pretty decent sized butt section down here. So I got some power. Other really nice part about the seven foot two is it allows for further cast from the boat. So we don't have to get really close to these trees so we don't spook fish. Cause again, remember we're fishing really shallow wood, decently clear water. So those fish can see us coming in, but the seven two longer rod, longer cast. Also with the length of the seven two, we can pull slack up a lot faster like that and get fish, get better hook sets too. What do you think he got? I don't know, he was right at the tip there. It's looking like a walleye, but that just shows you a perfect demonstration right there to KCR. And it is a it's little a walleye. walleye. That's what we're after, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, everything worked perfect. I mean, that the cast is right where I want it, right at the tip, the tree. I could feel the jig get to the bottom. That's part of the sensitivity in your rod. You can feel that jig. Constant contact is huge, absolutely critical when jig fishing. You wanna know where your jig is all the time. You wanna be able to feel that fish. And that worked, couldn't have worked out any better. Not the biggest fish of the day, but you know what? If you're gonna eat a fish, wow. A walleye is a walleye. Perfect. A walleye is a win. A walleye is a win, but I'm telling you right now, if you have the right rod, especially for the right presentation, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. And Kramer Custom Rods allows us to do that. Tyler just caught that fish. We're gonna make a few more casts, see if there's any more fish under here, and then we're gonna move down the shoreline because there's a lot more trees that look phenomenal. Yeah, this is good looking and stuff. I, the walleyes, I, we think the walleyes are just, you know, they're utilizing one tree, they're moving on to the next tree, so they're just they're just cruising up and down the shoreline. They're going in, they're hunting, um, and you hit it at the right time when they're hungry, you catch, you pick one off. If they're not hungry, you come back later and you get them when they're hungry. Yep. So we're gonna keep casting this one just for a few more minutes, and then we're gonna just keep moving. We have a selection, don't we? There's yeah, quite we a do. few. 
There's Some a lot of, of wood look, right here. Look really good. So this tree coming off the shore is where we just caught almost, we almost had a double there. We both got those wallies back to back. I'm a little far because that's where my spot lock left me. But that's okay because what we want to do is we want to sneak up on that tree. You can see how clear that water is. The last thing we want to do is spook 20 inch walleyes. So we're going to just creep up there a little bit. Oh, there, oh, we go. there you go. Yep, that one, they're, they're a little ways away from that tree, hunt. I think they're following it they for a little be. bit. That one inspecting it, it and then wow. they like what they see so yeah. they absolutely look at that is this it. awesome oh do you want goodness. the net um he's got buddies with him i just saw two of them take does he off. yeah i'll hand grab him i love it this does not this is something i look forward to jig snap jig walleye shallow water you're almost sight fishing and another thing we haven't really talked about but is extremely crucial are polarized glasses it's not so much to see the fish it's more, oh, come here, buddy. It's not so much to see the fish as it is you want to be able to see the limbs. I'm struggling here to grab this one. This is probably too big to be hand grabbing, but. Do you wow. want the net? No, I got them now. Oh, that is a nice one. Jeez, oh, Pete's. So being able to see, because you're going to prevent a heck of a lot of less snags. If you could see those limbs hanging over where you want to cast. And occasionally it helps you see a walleye when it's following up another one. That's pretty cool. Man. This is a nice spot, Sarah. I'm enjoying it's this It's a good spot. tree, you know what I mean? You got a good tree, you, you got, got a good, good tree. tree. There, folks. Take a look, I just got done snagging this thing. Little tiny perch, actually slung through the mouth. But you talk about matching the hatch. Come off of there, buddy. Wow, well, I got him good. And that three inch impulse is almost the exact same size. That's exactly what they're feeding on. <clears throat> That's working perfect, look at that. I say we got the right technique on. That is a perfect, perfect dead ringer right there. That's a better fish. Is that a fish? Yeah. He hit way out. I just missed one. Yeah, this is better. I don't know what we you got want here. The net? Ooh, it's a nice eye hunt. Real nice. Yeah, net. Okay. It's a dandy. My line is out there, so. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. He was uh, about halfway between the boat and the tree. But that's what we want. Did he hit it hard? Yes, pounded it. Pounded it. The sun's behind the trees, makes it a little tougher to see, but this is a nice okay. fish. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, scoop and got it. I'm gonna reel my line Yeah, nice in. work. Wow, wait till we see this one, guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful walleye. Come here, buddy. This, go with this route here. Oh, he want me to nice grab. thing about having the talon keeping us in places I don't have to worry about getting stuck in the trolling mode. Right, you gotta worry about that. There we go. Look at this fish. Wow. Oh my That goodness. is a dandy walleye. Wow. What do you think? Look, and look what's sticking out of his beautiful mouth. Beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah, he came up behind it and said, mine. Yeah, he said that impulse is mine right awesome. there. Awesome. Wow. wow. I love it. Good hooks it too. <laughs> that is an awesome, Pop awesome it right fish. right out. That is an awesome fish. He's golden. Mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of dark and beautiful. Right at that bewitching time. Sun's just behind the trees. Which this is, is a, a little reprieve from the heat we've I'm had telling today. You, you got to hit the wood. The fish use the wood. Don't do. overlook it. They do. Sarah and I had an absolute blast on this beautiful, gorgeous spring day. A day in which the water temperature went up 10 degrees. It's been crazy. It's been so warm today, but that's what we were looking for. Right. We wanted that water temperature to start rising, to kick those post-spawn walleyes yep. up shallow. You know, the, the water, rising water temperature caused yep. rising metabolism. They are hungry. Yep. We wanted them to be hungry, and we they, found them in the wood. And you know what? That wood, big time overlooked area sucks in tons of fish every species in the lake yeah pretty much is utilizing that wood in the spring exactly no weeds and then you know you they some there's some fish on rocks but most of it when you have a big tree in the water that's a big area you know sometimes 20 30 40 foot long in yeah. the water of habitat that, that those see. fish can suck up on a hot day like this they like the shade it's it's almost perfect it's ideal it was an ideal ideal setting it was absolutely. an ideal setting and the, the deep v jig head that we use today we talked about it we talked about the characteristics and why we're using it but that sinking fast um, you know even with a little bit of a breeze when you have a light right. where you're using a 1 8 jig head that can really kick that jig head into right. the the trees 
and that deep V jig had helped us to not get as many no. snags. And it helped us catch a lot of fish. Northland hit it out of the park with that one, I think. Mm -hmm. Tipped with the impulse head. minnow. Yep. It was a great combination. Yep. And it caught us a lot of walleyes. We caught a ton of walleyes. And the last thing that I think I want to say is when we caught that little perch, we snugged several of those, but it's, it was, we're talking about a plan coming together. Yeah. And when you start snagging the bait fish that are in the cover that the walleyes are eating, and it's the exact same thing as well, what we were using. We weren't snagging them. They were trying to hit our bait. Well, whatever yeah. we were doing. <laughs> I don't. Maybe, maybe we did catch a couple. Of them. Legit, catch. but it's it just shows you that you you hit you were right nail on the head today. Right, the timing for it was perfect. They say yep. match the hatch. We had that down. We were searching out the right habitat, and it all came together, tied up with a nice little bow on top. It was fantastic. We caught a ton of walleyes. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I had fun. I did too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on Sportsman's Journal. To explore all of Northland's jig heads and soft plastics, visit NorthlandTackle.com. Northland is proud to introduce a radical new design in ice fishing spoons that's anything but dead in the water. Welcome to Buckshot Coffin Spoon. The special angled flat sides not only generate its unique action, but also dazzlingly reflect light. Besides its action and flash, a brass rattle and kicker tail fin yield super loud fish attracting cues. Available in four sizes and 12 fish catching colors, there's no better choice. The Buckshot Coffin Spoon just gets the job done.